These are just a couple of the 22 micro homes that will be installed here at Tacoma's tiny home village. You can see spray paint on the ground where the remaining homes will go. Now the people who live around here say they do support the idea of helping people who are homeless, but they say they aren't so sure about this being in their backyard. Last five, six years, we put up with more and more of these tents. Just a few steps away from Michael Bingham's front door is what's left of an encampment at People's Park in Tacoma. Some campers packed up and left after the city issued a tent ban on December 1st. Neighbors say they're concerned the people still here causing problems may bring trouble around the corner to the new tiny home village. The stuff that goes on over here at night, I mean, there's yelling and screaming and people cussing each other out, threatening each other. It's pretty crazy. I mean, we've had break-ins throughout the neighborhood all the way down to Sprague. People coming, in, busting into houses, getting money, and they're running back to the homeless camp. This blueprint shows developers will add a fence around the village and will have management on site 24-7. City leaders say up to 35 people will be able to live here after a referral and agreeing to a code of conduct. Some neighbors worry if that will be enough to keep drama at Tent City out of the village and their neighborhood. In theory, I'm not opposed to, but I am opposed to it if it's just to get people out of that situation, move over there, and they end up doing the same thing. We, we've got to stop. We, we, have to, we have to literally, you know, hold these people accountable, you know. I'm sorry you're homeless, but that does not mean you're not accountable to society and society's laws. You do not have the right to, to do whatever you want and say, oh, I'm homeless, poor me. The city budgeted almost $400,000 for the village, but in a public meeting, some voters argued the city isn't doing enough to address the growing homeless crisis. Mayor Victoria Woodard says some people may not know about the $10.2 million the city has invested in services and programs to address the issue. We are doing something. Is it enough? It's not enough until, there, until every homeless person in Tacoma has a place to go. And as a council, we recognize that and staff recognizes that. But it takes time and processes, and we're working as fast and quickly as we can to do as much as we can to solve this problem. Though the micro shelters are a start, it's not a cure-all. Neighbors say the real solution would be affordable housing in a real home. Until we accomplish that, we don't have any place for these people to afford to live. Then we're going to have to put up with this. Once all 22 homes are here, the city says the expected move-in day will be December 19th. Reporting in Tacoma, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.